This is from the Daily Wire. The climate may be getting hot, but AOC's new movie is most definitely not. Well done. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has a new documentary out to the end. Um, and if movie theaters are paying attention to ticket sales, they realize it's already run to the end. The flick opened on December 9th at 120 theaters. But since then, it's made $9,667. Okay. You know, it's about a week. On over 100 screens, it's made less than $10,000. That is 80 bucks a screen. And let's say the tickets are $16.25, as they are at Regal Theaters. That would equate to fewer than 600 people who actually saw it. So that's about, uh, do the math on that. So that's like um, just about five people, five or six people, a theater, went to go see this movie. Perhaps viewers just didn't want to sit through this. This is uh, the movie synopsis. It says, stopping the climate crisis is a question of political courage, and the clock is ticking. Over three years of turbulence and crisis, four young women fight for a Green New Deal and ignite a historic shift in U.S. climate politics. Now, the, the film drew 83% approval from uh, Rotten Tomatoes, of course, but nobody actually wants to see this thing. And I know that you're really hoping that you'll get a chance to watch the trailer of this because you're hearing the description. You're thinking, I need to see some clips of this thing. And don't worry, I got you covered. Uh, here's a trailer. Fighting for change politically requires faith. We are building an army of young people to stop the climate crisis and create millions of good jobs for our generation. Everyone wants to talk about this dispassionately, but this is the world that I will raise my kids in. The more centrist wing is arguing that they want to maintain the status quo. Ain't nobody gonna keep us down. This is going to be the moonshot of our generation. Moments of crisis crack open the window of possibility. We just climb that mountain. Sometimes I feel like my job is to get my hands dirty. You're not gonna trick us. Hell no. <laughs> now is the time to leverage our power. We have tens of thousands of new people joining. We just climb that We're in the battle for the soul of the Democratic Party. Make them feel like they're gonna lose their seats if they That's don't something. support this. Let's stop. Let's let's stop watching it. So you've seen enough of it. Um, a few things. First. It, it, interesting things going on here. I mean, nothing interesting in the film itself, but um, first, the, the Democrat Party just doesn't have any stars at all. They don't, they don't have any interesting people in the Democrat Party. Um, AOC is the closest, and yet, you know, she's, she's probably the biggest star in the Democrat Party. She's not the one that has the most influence in Washington, for sure, but but she's the biggest star, uh, most well known, most famous, popular, I guess. And yet, and yet, still, like she's the best they can do as far as that goes, and, and and yet nobody cares because she's actually not interesting at all. She's not an interesting person. Part of the problem is that in order to be interesting, you have to have some rough edges. You know, you have, you need to have some aspects of yourself that aren't politically correct. That's what makes someone interesting. Um, but when you perfectly fit yourself into this politically correct box, it may prevent you from getting backlash. It may make you above criticism in the mainstream. Fine, but just like it's not interesting. And also, the left, once again, as we see, they find it difficult to make films that preach their message in an appealing and entertaining way. They didn't always have this difficulty because the left has been, the Hollywood has been left leaning for decades and they've been putting out films that, you know, propagandize um, in their direction. And they've been doing that for decades, but they used to be able to do it in a way that people found, found interesting and found entertaining and wanted to go watch the movies. And they, 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 they're not as able to do that anymore. Part of that is, like we always talk about, it's, it's the kind of Christian film phenomenon where they do the same thing in the reverse with Christian films do. They put the, they put the message before anything. So they go message first. They worry about getting the message across before they worry about actually putting out an entertaining piece of content. That's part of it. I think also, you know, they don't think that the masses are worthy of being appealed to in the first place, I think. 
they, it's a, they, they think almost like they would be, it would be beneath them to try to appeal to the masses. Because they have contempt for that. They, they have too much contempt for the masses at this point to actually try to connect with them. I think that's part of the issue. And that'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.